Hi everyone, it's Bill. As a new amateur radio operator, you've probably heard a lot about repeaters. You may not be sure what a repeater is. She's the parrot that talks back. The parrot that talks back. How it works or, or what it's supposed to do. So tonight, we're going to get into it. So, let's get into it. Quite simply, a repeater is a device that receives a signal on one frequency and instantaneously retransmits it on a different frequency. And this can be very effective for increasing the effective range of your radio. Your radio may only be able to transmit two or three miles. And if there's a repeater at that point, it'll pick up your signal and retransmit it to a much greater distance. Let's check out an example. Say that this is you and this is your buddy, Bob. You and Bob are separated by some distance greater than the effective range of your radio. So Bob can't hear you. If you can boost your signal before it gets to Bob, then you'll be able to communicate. Like I said, you transmit on frequency one. The repeater picks up your signal and instantaneously retransmits it on frequency two. And Bob is over there listening on frequency number two. When the repeater retransmits the signal, it's sending it out at a higher strength and that is able to reach Bob. Most repeaters are located in higher locations so that they can cover more area. And of course, they are usually a higher wattage. Now, when Bob receives your signal, he does the exact same thing you do. He transmits on frequency one. The repeater receives the signal and retransmits at frequency two. So you have to be listening on frequency two. Transmit on frequency one, listen on frequency two. So let's just get a little bit technical on this. Instead of frequency one and two, we'll refer to them as the transmit or the TX frequency and the receive down or uh, RX frequency. RX frequency is usually referred to as the offset frequency. The amount of difference between the TX and the RX is referred to as the offset amount. You may find that there's a repeater near you that uses the frequency 144.100 megahertz with an offset of plus 0.6. So what does that mean? It means that you can transmit to the repeater at 144.100 megahertz. That is the TX or the up frequency. The repeater will instantly retransmit your signal at 144.7 megahertz. That is the down frequency or the RX frequency. The difference between the TX and the RX frequency is 0.6 megahertz and it's a plus 0.6 megahertz. So if your radio is programmed correctly, it will transmit at 144.1 megahertz and will receive at 144.7 megahertz. And Bob, if he's got his radio programmed correctly, it will do the same. And of course, the repeater does the exact opposite. The repeater receives the signal at 144.1 and transmits at 144.7. Not only that, but most repeaters are located in higher elevations so that they can send the signal out to a larger area. And in addition to that, they are normally much higher wattages so that they can send that signal clearer and further than you can with your handheld or home base radio. Now, most repeaters are offset by either five megahertz or 0.6 megahertz, and that's just by convention. You can set up a repeater to be offset by any amount that you like. And you can even create what's called a crossband repeater, which goes from, say, for instance, UHF to VHF or, or vice versa. For instance, if you decide to create your own repeater using inexpensive handheld radios, you might have to cross bands. We're going to get into this in the next video. I'll show you how to create your own once I figure it out myself. And finally, I want to talk very briefly about PL tones or, or, or just tones. There's several different kinds of tones. Your radio has the capability to, in addition to transmitting your voice, to transmit a tone that is inaudible. So of course you can't hear it, but your radio and the other guy's radio can hear it. What that does is, now you know your radio has a squelch, and the higher you turn up the squelch, the stronger the signal has to be from the other radio before your radio will receive it. You can lower the squelch and a weaker signal can come in, or you can turn it off completely and listen to all the static. What a tone does, if your radio is set to receive a tone, it'll keep the squelch on until it hears that tone. So in other words, if your radio is tuned to a particular frequency, you won't hear any signals at all unless that signal comes to you with the tone. This is used a lot in GMRS and FRS radios, what they call privacy modes. 
The Cone of Silence. A lot of people think that nobody else can hear the signal unless they have that privacy tone set or, or PL code or whatever. That's not the case. It's the very opposite. Everybody can hear your signal, but the guy who's got that tone set on his radio can't hear anybody else's signal unless that tone is set. I am deeply concerned about the conference room. What? So, you're not private from anyone else, you're just stopping your radio from picking up anyone else's signals. I hope that makes sense. Now, the whole reason I bring up the tones and the PL codes and everything else is because a lot of repeaters use those. In other words, they don't want someone to randomly hit that frequency and transmit out onto the uh, repeater and then not be able to receive the signal back because they don't have it programmed correctly. Your repeater may be set with a PL code, and if you don't set the PL code in your radio, then when you transmit, the repeater will not hear your transmission. So not only do you have to set the frequency, you have to set the offset, but you also have to set the PL code if there's one included. With those three items, you ought to be able to use your local repeaters. And many repeaters will regularly transmit that data. So for instance, my local repeater will say, this is the XYZ repeater transmitting at this frequency using this PL code uh, with an offset of whatever. And of course, the easiest way to program that is through chip. And of course, you can get all those settings into your radio by using Chirp. If you've watched this far into the video, I want to thank you for watching. And if you're so inclined, go ahead and hit that like or subscribe button. And of course, if you have any questions that you think maybe I could answer, and I'm not saying I can, but if I could, feel free to throw them down there in the comments and I'll give a shot at answering them or maybe ask a smart person who could help me out. Thanks again for watching. Oh, hi, it's me, Bill. Uh, tonight, I was, oh, excuse me, phone's ringing. Better answer that. Hello, you're on live with Bill. Oh, hi, Bald, I wanted to ask a uh, question. No, it's Bill, right. So, how can I help you? I want to know how repeaters oh, work. That's what we're going to talk about tonight. That's great. Okay, sure. Right. Thanks, Bald. Rude.